Can the Maricel VX recreate the microcosm? Let's find out. So one of my most requested videos of late has been to see if I can draw out some of the magic, some of the secret sauce that's in the hologram electronics microcosm and get that in the LVX. And when I bought the LVX, I thought that I would end up selling the microcosm, uh, but the reality is it's still on my board sort of six months later. And in part that's because it just sounds so fantastic and I'm kind of used to it now, but also because I wanted to do more videos like this first to compare the two. We're gonna focus on one specific element of the microcosm today, and that is gonna be on interrupt mode, which is a mode which gives you those glitches and uh, pitching sort of distorted blips and blops. Today I'm going to compare that to a modulate setting that's in the LVX, which is called Granulize, and I think it's the setting in the LVX which is most similar to the sort of wreath synthesis that the microcosm gives you, and the Granulize gives you that similar sort of broken glitchy effect. So let's dive in and see what we can get. I've got the microcosm here, and I've got this set on to interrupt. We're just going to go through the preset. I'm going to take off the reverb, and we've got repeats, but I am gonna go through what the other dials do do here on the microcosm and just show you how quickly and easily I can pull up some stuff and then compare that to the LVX. So we get a, as good as a light for light comparison as I can do without spending an hour going through it. This first setting is gonna rearrange what I'm playing and give us those sort of glitchy sounds. So let's turn the mix up so we can really hear that. We've got activity, that that changes the variation of what the glitches are and how it works. I'm gonna put the filter all the way up so we get all the high end in. So that's just setting A. Setting B gives us some pitch shift glitch samples. Which is really cool. So we've got some pitch shifting going on there. Setting three includes uh, some filter sweeps and delay. And then setting C gives you pretty much the same sort of stuff with some bit crushing elements in there, which is awesome. Aggressive and all that bit crush comes through when the activity knobs turned up on that one. Okay, so we've got basic glitch, we've got glitch with pitch shift, we've got glitch with filter and delay, and we've got glitch with bit crushing, which is pretty awesome across those four settings. Now, only way I can adjust these settings is by changing the activity knob. It does make a difference, it does give you changes, but it's not as customizable, if you like, as I would suggest the LVX is, as you'll come to see in a minute. The other really cool thing that you can do on here is you could just instantly put some reverb on it. That does really change the sound. So we've got option C again. <laughs> And let's just put some reverb on. In addition to that, got like a vibrato sound that sits within here. So the secondary functions underneath each of these, if you hold this button down here, I can increase the modulation depth. Just turn some of the reverb down for a sec. I can increase the modulation frequency or change the modulation frequency. Really that vibrato. And I can increase the resonance of the filter. And 
and then really ramp up the reverb and repeats. And swell some chords in. So yeah, a lot, a lot going on. Not only in terms of creating this sort of that glitchy effect, but being able to instantly uh, enhance that and adjust that. So let's just turn the microcosm off. Let's move over to the LVX. So if I'm going to just literally take the delay that we've got on there, and I'm going to just turn the time all the way down. Okay. So if we then move through to modulate, and we're going to change that to granulize we can uh, adjust the, di the direction now you can do that on the microcosm i probably should have shown you that as well so that's forward click that and you'll see the light flash backwards and that goes in reverse now so jumping into the lbx we can adjust that there just by wrong one we can adjust that on the top right by just flicking from forward through to reverse so let's just hear forward reverse okay so we can change the direction of travel instantly that's really good what we can do in the lvx that we can't do in the microcosm is we can adjust the location of the effect so um, we've got the options between post, we can put it in the feedback loop, we can put it pre-feedback loop, or we can put it pre and dry. So I'm just gonna play through very quickly what they sound like just so you get an understanding of how that impacts. So that's pre and dry, so that essentially is a fully wet signal. Probably no different than um, changing the mix to full on the microcosm. Feedback loop. and then post. So we'll stick with post, I want it to be a bit more discreet. So we're gonna get a clean signal come through and then the impact of the delay. We've got a tap tempo here on the L uh, microcosm. We've got a tap tempo here on LVX. This is where it becomes a bit more, in my opinion, a bit more specific than the microcosm and a bit more customizable is probably the right word. So the size here adjusts the length of the grain. It's in milliseconds. So we could have it at one, for example. Or we can go all the way up to 600 milliseconds. So it's the size of the individual grain that the pedal cuts up your signal into. You can see it's 600 milliseconds. It doesn't really sound too glitchy. So let's just go down to say 274. You can change the repeats, the number of times that one individual part or grain, as they call it on the LVX, how many times that's going to play before it lets in a new signal. So let's go down to one. To 
So hopefully you can hear that. Six is kind of repeating one sound and then another one, and then it lets another one in after six. Whereas the lower you go, the more vari variation and variety that you're gonna get essentially. Just do that again, repeats the six. Down to one. sweet spot somewhere probably in the middle spread is another control you've got and that actually controls the difference between the left and the right speaker obviously this is coming out in stereo and my understanding is that spread impacts the different sizes of the tr of the grains as they call it uh, between the left and right speaker so you get that real stereo separation you're getting something slightly different going in say on the left hand side than the right hand side so at zero i think it's pretty much the same Yeah, hopefully you can hear the difference between the two. Zero. Sorry, 100%. Now, as I demonstrated earlier, the microcosm, you could quickly just flick some reverb on, put some modulation on, change the filter to almost EQ it. Now you can't do that on the front panel of the LVX, but you can simply just flick through and add all manner of things. So if we wanted to put, for example, we're going to add some pitch on. We could add some slight tube distortion on there. We could swell that in so that the, the effect, the granulars now and the distortion swells in behind the clean signal. and I could change the delay to all manner of different configurations and add that in there. So we could go to a bit of a broken magnetic poly delay. I hope that gives you a bit of a flavor of what these two pedals are offering in the same sort of ballpark. I've just used one of the features within the microcosm, albeit a lot of the sounds you get within it are around resynthesizing, granulizing the plate, the, the clean signal, and reinterpreting that and pushing that back out. Um, but I have honestly used the uh, granulize and the LVX on a couple of recordings now uh, to stereo pan, things like drums, uh, not just guitars, some key stuff in there, and the stereo, impression the stereo spread that you get from it and the way you can manipulate that and customize it i think it's really 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 good um i feel like i'm more in control of the lvx than the microcosm whereas the microcosm you know we we know that the activity is gonna for example on this setting is gonna control variation but i don't really know how or exactly what it's doing and maybe i don't need to maybe that's not the point but for someone like me the way my mind works i like knowing what i'm doing and how i can imagine a sound and ha actually go and get it. And I think the LVX does trump the microcosm in that regard. If there's anything else on the microcosm that you want me to look at and see if I can recreate or bring out of the LVX, let me know, comment below. Uh, if you've liked anything you've seen in this video, then please give it a thumbs up. I'd love for you to subscribe and I'd love to see you back here every single week. I release two to three videos every week here on the channel. I'm over on Instagram and I've also got a newsletter you can sign up to in the description below. Thanks for watching.